Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are when you're watching this video. So today we have another Battlegrounds video. And this one is going to be a really fun one. So here, as always, I try to try to ban uh, attackers so that my opponent... So we have more like a fair matchup, right? So then there he goes and, and ban my America Chavez, Infamous Iron Man, and Absorbing Man. So here, I, I ultimately end up going with CGR because he's a good attacker. I don't go with Tigra or Titania just yet because Tigra I'm only picking if he gets like a really good cosmic defender else she's not really that good in this meta but she can work and science because I don't want to pick a science if he, my opponent is not going to put a lot of mystics on on his deck on his roster so yeah here I I have like a lot of good options so uh, there you go ahead and see that I pick my rank 4 spot and also my infamous Ar my sorry not my infamous Iron Man but my Ar my Doctor Doom yes and he he goes ahead and picks uh, Doctor Doom as well and Galen so that's totally fine um, I pick the spot basically because he's a double threat as I always mention and you know, in case he picks a mystic that is going to be a good defender, I have it I have it there just in case. Now here I have good options, but I see that he already has a gallon. I'm not sure if he is going to get a CGR. So I decided and, and see I have to go with Blade. And in case he decides to use that Kitty Pry on defense, I go ahead and pick Omega Sentinel. I pick Blade because Galen can just finish any fight really fast, uh, regardless of whether the defender is a Mystic or not. So I go ahead and, and pick Blade just in case that he wants to fight him with a Dimensional Beam, beam because he can. And he goes ahead and picks a GR as well. So that's actually really good because I can throw down Blade as a defender and he cannot use the nukes that he has, which are Cosmic Ghost Rider and Galen. So he'll have to use any other one. And here I get a really good set of champions. And since this is my, lag, my last opportunity to pick a defender for attackers, I decide to go ahead and pick Domino and Galen because I don't like to pick Domino early on if I have the opportunity because it's more chances that my opponent gets attack. And here, just as I mentioned that he gets a Nimrod, so I go like, okay, I definitely won't use uh, Domino on defense. So if I see that something I had in mind is not working because he drafts a good attacker or a defender, I just immediately start to think of another strategy. So right here, I'm not putting Domino on defense at all. So here I'm thinking, which champion should I put first? So ultimately, I decide to go with uh, rank four Doom. Um, he's going to have to use either his uh, Valkyrie or his Doctor Doom or even Galen. So, but here he decides to throw the Galen. So here I'm thinking, which champion should I use? And I think that I'm not really going to use CGR anywhere else so i decide okay let's try cgr i have not that i remember use cgr as an attacker versus a gallant defender but i don't see why there should be a problem as long as i use my special attacks um i should be fine so here the, the fight starts going really well i heavy i intercept my opponent and then here i throw my special he triggers an immunity, so he gains planetary mass. So there's that. And now he has 80. So at this point, I am at a pretty decent risk of him uh, getting his harvest. So here in the fight, as I mentioned, I wasn't really sure how this was going to work, how this was going to play out. So I, I just wanted to get my special 2 immediately, but 
I wasn't counting on the fact that by me using my special 2 and getting up to my 5 judgments, he triggers an immunity and therefore getting planetary mass and activating his harvest. So this fight is going really bad and I'm, I'm thinking okay, I'm not going to win this round at all. Um, so yeah, he, there you go, this, there, there you see that uh, I end up dying against the Galen. Going back to it though, I think that I should have thrown my special one. Um, before I got my five judgments. So, so I can go ahead and take some planetary mass off of him. And the fight could have been much more in control. And yeah, here I was expecting, yeah, Valkyrie is really good champion really good attacker she doesn't really have any problem of facing a new opponent just that with the doctor doom you just have to wait for his aura to expire but it's a pretty straightforward fight now my it's time for my opponent to pick his defender so here he has some good options not going to lie um, but he decides to go ahead and throw down Kitty because if he throws down a uh, science, uh, sorry, uh, mystic, I have a spot for that. So, according to him, uh, Kitty was a good defender to throw down, even though he knows that I have Omega Sentinel. Since he had the advantage, he probably wanted to, you know, bait some of my defenders. Uh, in this case, I put Blade because I don't want him at all to use his CGR. So he decides to go ahead and use Doom as an attacker. And this fight is going to be pretty straightforward. I am not going to put any of my free pre fights because I don't want Kitty to get any paralysis at all in the fight. So I'm just going to stick to uh, medium ending combos to inflict that card. This. And yeah, this is going to be pretty good. Here I'm just doing that, sticking to medium ending attacks and also I want to pause my my, my debuffs so I, I want to end it with a light as I don't I don't really like uh, ending uh, throwing a heavy attack to pause them because I found I find light ending attacks to be more friendly in my case so yes this is this is the strategy for me it's pretty straightforward here I'm waiting to make his, her special attacks and yeah she's going a little bit passive right now so all of my debuffs are going to expire but that's okay it's one minute into the fight it's no big deal and she's almost dead so here just a matter of time same strategy inflicted that card this and passing my debuffs and just one more special two should just get the fight done or close to it so we're going to see we're going to throw my special two with five weaknesses on and that is going to end it pretty straightforward a decent score and blade this can be a little bit annoying even if you don't if, even if you don't use what would be a bad attacker in this case cgr um, because he, he just can get really annoying so here i get the win that's awesome I would really didn't know what to expect because that's a Doctor Doom after all. But no, he and he ends up having a great match, by the way. But it's not enough for for the kind of matchup that I had. So here I am. I I don't know why I did that with Domino. Uh, but yeah, here I'm thinking whether or not I should put a spot or Gallon. Ultimately, I end up thinking Gallon is the better defender because you saw what happened with me using CGR so if he just tries to use CGR then it's not gonna work so I try to give him the class advantage uh, because with the spot it's a it's a really fast CGR fight so here this is my first time going into a fight with spot versus an Nimrod so I'm thinking okay let's see how it works how it plays out and yeah, here uh, I go ahead and just block his end of the end of his special two to get some of my portal blocks, some of my pots. So yeah, th there's that. 
And then here I, I always wait to get five spots at the very least, and then just go, go like that. And you're gonna notice that I have a passive that is in gray right there, that is about to expire, there you go. And in order for that to not to expire and get the most out of it, I like to use a special one when I am untouchable because else that is going to expire and I'm not gonna get that extra damage from the multiple hits. So yeah, there's that. And here, there you go. I try to keep it to make more rupture damage. And then I throw my special two and that is going to end the, the fight. And yeah, this is going, like this was like a perfect five, 50,000 points, that's pretty good. And versus a, a tanky opponent that can be an Nimrod. And he has an awesome fight. Um, he did not commit many mistakes. And yeah, we won that, that match. And here we're on to the next one. This is a really mm, good roster for sure. Um, so I decided to go ahead and always find Archangel because that's just crazy. And I ban Shang-Chi. And here I'm thinking, which should I ban? Should I go with CGR? Or should I go ahead and ban his Null besides or his Hercules? So ultimately, I think that I have to ban his Nuke. That is probably a rank four. So yes, I decide to go ahead and do that. Here right away, he picks up uh, a Sasquatch. So I, I, I want to have a good science, but he bans my Human Torch. So yes, there's that. And so I go ahead and pick my Gallon because if I build up my planetary mass, maybe I have a chance at countering that Sasquatch. But yeah, ultimately I'm going to use him on a better matchup if I can. And I pick uh, Nick Fury because he's just a good defender. But he goes ahead and picks Toad, which is a really good counter for Nick Fury. So here I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to use Nick Fury on defense if I can. Um, so I'm thinking what's going to be my next strategy. So here I'm thinking, okay, I have inequity maxed out. Should I go with Null? Which should I use? And ultimately I decided to go ahead and use Null and my Kitty Pride because she just can't get uh, too many fights because of that face that she has and she's just awakened. She's not taking any damage while facing. And so here she goes ahead and picks Domino and a Hercules. Now, this is a really good example of how it's not a good strategy to pick Domino if you have one more round to pick at, the, at your champions. Because if the, def if the enemy gets more chances of drafting, then they are probably going to go ahead and get a attack that is going to hard counter that that def that champion that you just pick in this case domino but no i, I end up uh thinking okay no i want to pick a domino um so that we are more like it's a fair matchup and pick spots of course now that's going to be my great counter for sasquatch and ultimately it's just luck it's just rng i end up getting nimrod again so there you go my opponent is not gonna have a fun time if he decides to throw down a domino, which is probably not going to happen. As long as if you see a tag that has an armor up and especially Nimrod, you don't have to throw domino on defense at all because that's just throwing, throwing the match. Although you want, if you want to do that, that's totally fine. That's, that's a strategy as well. So here I, I think that my best shot is going to throw down with a null and hope that inequity is, does its job. And here against Sasquatch, I think, okay, I haven't tried this matchup. It can get complicated if he activates his aura. So I'm just thinking, let's do our best and try to get out of the match as soon as possible. So yes, here is the same strategy. I want to get to five spots and not let the Rapture uh, expire. So I, I stick to medium attacks for it not to trigger and I want it to trigger when I use my special one. So here I go ahead and throw it and there you go. You see that rupture burst. That's because I didn't throw my 
my lights and get the most out of it. So there, there you go that the fight is going pretty well, decently fast. Now my, my main goal is to get to a special two and there you see that I get, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I eat a heavy attack. So that's not the great uh, way to go. And yeah, here uh, he's close to maybe activating his aura. So I just want to throw my special two as soon as possible. So there we go, we get the passive fury. I throw my special two immediately and boom, we get out of the fight in about a minute or so. And yes, that that is really good that he didn't activate his aura. So that fight went really good. And yeah, this is, this is just showing how, yes, Dr. Doom is pretty, pretty good you probably want to rank five him if you have the chance but at the end of the day he's not a, a nuke he's a good attacker good defender but he's just not a nuke and of course i had i had inequity with no no so that decreases a lot of some of his damage so here i'm thinking which should i go i don't think i want to go near fury maybe i do take the chance because i have the advantage here i won the first round and i'm hoping that that nick fury versus toad if he decides to throw down toad doesn't go good for him because yes that is a really good matchup versus toad versus nick fury using toad sorry but it can go south so yes i'm hoping that if he decides to use toad it doesn't go the right way but yeah here he goes ahead and thinks that yes he doesn't have any other chance to use domino so he goes ahead and just decides to use him to use her versus nick fury and i go ahead and think okay i'm not gonna use kitty pride anywhere else so i might as well use her so the strategy is going to be just face all of the thorns damage here for some reason i wanted to get rid of his rock stacks but no that's not going to get me the win so i want to get my first three parries and he's going to purify them of course um but i i get rid of that that damage because i i'm facing so yes this is pre a pretty stay forward fight i want to go ahead and bait his specials whenever i can uh and also bait some of my temperature so that the special two hits somewhat hard yes here i'm trying to bait his special there we go I'm trying to get that yeah, there. I got the tree process so I can face and not get the damage back. So that's awesome. I, I block here because I don't want to get intercepted with his special one if I decide to throw to play a little bit more aggressively. Um, because I don't want to lose my paralysis because that's my safety net, safety net for the door's damage. So, yes, yeah, here we throw the special going to the striker and yeah. There we go. Here I, th I say, okay, let me just take some of that Thor's damage. I want to get out of the fight fast. So there we go. And here I'm going to just throw one more special two and that should make it. There we go. That's, that's game. And I'm going to wait and see how that fight went. And as we can see, that fight was, my opponent played really good. So shout out to Alerius, um, if that's how you pronounce it. That went really good for my opponent, but it's just that my match went better because I, it's just Kitty. Uh, most of the time, unless you have a really good counter, it's, it's probably going to go to Kitty. So there we go, we had the match. It was a really fun one to make. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like and subscribe. If you're liking this Valor God matches video, I am planning to making more of these. So thank you for watching. Have a great one.